Just doing a quick overview of my uh, new Smith & Wesson M&P 15T or Tactical. Um, picked it up used, just got back from the range shooting it. Uh, I did a, a few initial test shots before today, but um, just got some real good rounds through it today. Worked fabulous. I'll uh, post the videos of that right after this. But uh, like I said, used gun, um, chambered in the 5.56223, can shoot either one. Um, it's kind of nice having the um, availability to shoot different things. Um, pretty cool gun. It's got some cool features. Uh, it's got the uh, collapsible stock. Uh, I think it's got a few different uh, positions that it'll actually go into, which is kind of nice. Uh, easy for my wife to shoot, make it a, the smallest it will actually get. Uh, it's got the uh, flip up Troy iron sights. Um, those are pretty slick. You got to push on them pretty good here, and uh, they'll come down. As you do with one hand, there we go. Um, otherwise, it should just pops right up. Um, pretty easy to uh, adjust them. Same thing with the front. Uh, it's a good sight though, definitely uh, easy to hold on to and uh, shoot at the, the target from a good distance. Um, got the aftermarket mag I think from PMAG. But uh, overall it's just in its stock form so it'll be a fun gun to um, accessorize and do some things with. I'm looking forward to putting some things on here and seeing what I can do. Here we are at the range. Nice. Getting to fall day here. Got some of the trees having their leaves change colors a little bit. Got something set out there at uh, 50 yards and 25 yards. Uh, Going to be test firing the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Tactical. Uh, haven't done anything yet to it since we bought it. To apologize for the video quality. Kind of just using my uh, cell phone video camcorder right now. Uh, did fire it a few times before with a few different types of ammunitions. Uh, the uh, steel brass did not seem to work real, real well out of it. Um, everything else seemed to feed pretty well. Completely stock at this point in time. Eventually, I'll go over kind of some of what it comes with initially, but I think everyone's pretty familiar with it. Um, we'll eventually do some upgrades to it. You know, slowly go along. A lot of this stuff is real expensive. That is worth getting for it. So. Did buy just a, uh, I think it's a PMAG mag um, with a window on it to see how many rounds get left. Comes with a dust cover. Haven't used it yet. Going to try it out today, see how it works. Um, and then I also do have the uh, PMC X TAC. Uh, it's kind of the cheaper stuff on the shelf at Fleet Farm. Uh, seems to run through it real well. Uh, feeds nice and uh, seems to work well. Let's do some shooting. Went and retrieved some targets, and uh, this is 25 yards. First got the gun, the post, the front post was uh, set too high, it was shooting really low. Uh, since then I lowered it a bit, might need to lower it just a little bit more, but for 25 yards I'm not overly concerned about it shooting a little low. Good group though, not too bad, uh, with open sights, just a flip up Troy iron sights. Um, and then this would be the uh, 50 yards open sights. Uh, you know, not too bad. First time shooting the gun, I'm sure I can do a little bit better if I practice a little bit more. And um, Didn't use the stand, the gun stand, too much, so uh, this is just kind of a standing position, so not too bad. I uh, probably could shoot a little bit better. 